Hey guys, it's Shelby and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my long-awaited morning skincare routine. For people that have acne or hyperpigmentation, this is the perfect video for you. So if you want to see what my routine is, then please keep watching. Alright guys, so I just jumped out the shower with freshly washed skin and I'll let you guys know what I use. So I go back and forth between two different cleansers. The first one is the La Roche Pousset. Um, purifying foaming cleanser and it looks like this it's actually a French brand and I love this cleanser um, I don't use it every day but usually sometimes if I just want to double cleanse or I just took makeup off or just came back from the gym I like to use this before I use my actual active ingredient cleanser so I like this because it's so free fragrance free sulfate free it has ceramide 3 and niacinamide in it so it's really great I love it for my skin and um, I think this was about $15 at Target and it was worth it because it's a pretty big bottle and it's only halfway through and I've had it for months now. The second cleanser that I use to wash my skin is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser 4% Benzoyl Peroxide. So I absolutely love this cleanser. Um, I have acne and Basically, benzoyl peroxide works really well to go in the deeper layers of your skin to basically kill the bacteria and the dirt before it comes to your skin. So I've seen a huge difference in like active acne since I started using this product and I swear by it. I'm probably never going to use anything different from this. Um, I can't believe that benzoyl peroxide hasn't been talked about as much as like the other things for acne, but I love this. So again, CeraVe, CeraVe is amazing. It has essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide. Next step is toner. So this is the first toner I use. It's the Heritage Store Rose Water Facial Toner, and it's amazing. I swear by it. Um, I actually got this, I got hip to it by LA Beautyologist on Twitter. And this is amazing because five different humectants in it that basically those draw water from the air. So in here, of course, it has glycerin, which is really good. Sodium PCA, which is a type of hyaluronic acid. Sodium hyaluronate, a type of hyaluronic acid. Aloe vera, which is a natural humectant. And then, of course, the rose water and everything. So I just use this product first right after washing my face. And I switch my face like five to six times. So, after I apply this product, I like to push it into my skin, going down to my neck, and kind of like my decolletage area. This, I have seen a huge difference in my skin since I started using it this year. It's amazing. So, I know... Um, LA Beautyologist, she, she suggests that you spritz this after every step, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, only because since she's recommended this, it is so hard to find. I got this one from Ulta. A lot of times TJ Maxx and Marshall sells it for way cheaper. It's only like $11, but she, TJ Maxx usually sells it for like $8, so wherever you can find it, sis, just get it. So. My next step is another toner. Um, LA Beautyologist also recommends double toning and makeup for women of color on Twitter. That's where I get a lot of my, um, basically my advice and recommendations I get from them. So this is the Polish Choice Pore Reducing Toner with Niacinamide. And I absolutely love it. It's weightless liquid, visibly minimizes pore size, and refresh, refreshes skin. And I guess it says it's for oily combination skin. So I love this. Again, like I talked about, they have ceramides in it, sodium hyaluronate, um, niacinamide. And you guys are going to hear niacinamide a lot recently. It's like this year is the first time I've actually been hearing about niacinamide, which is crazy. But it's such... A good ingredient for any type of skin it doesn't matter if you have acne dry skin oily skin it's such a great product so I just get a little in my hand I rub it together and I apply it on my skin so I've actually gone like totally swab free with my toners um, it helps the planet and you just get more of the product applied to your skin when you don't use like a cotton swab or any of that so I like to apply it directly to my skin
so again I just love it and I love that both these toners together I can feel like it's really hydrating my skin by how my skin feels afterwards so I like to press it in like I said but you kind of can see how my skin goes back it's like slightly tacky which I personally like because I feel like it's doing something so just press it in so before I go into my next step I like to tone again I'll do be, be extra for this video sis so I just spray the toner water again from the Heritage Store just to get that extra pizzazz, you know? This is why I caught this video um, that has, for people that have hyperpigmentation in it because I'm using this product. So this is the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Niacinamide, again, discoloration treatment with 15% brightening complex. It has niacinamide, transamic acid, kojic acid, alpha arbutin, and pentapeptide. And it basically says to reduce the look of discoloration, dark patches with extra strength, tone correcting formula. So guys, this product right here was super expensive. I, yeah, so the average person is probably not going to buy this, but somebody who's been dealing with acne like me, I feel like it's important to invest in yourself. And I'm the type of person, I get chemical pills, things of that nature that end up costing about the same price as this. So it's like, why not just buy a product that you know will work? So this product, guys, was about $88 after tax. It was about $91, which is crazy for a product. I've been using it since October 1st, and it is October 29th. And honestly, I haven't seen a huge change in my skin, but, you know, keep it hopeful. Sometimes it does take months for hyperpigmentation and acne scars to go away, so I'm just being hopeful. So again... This thing has, I mean, this product has niacinamide, transamix acid, which um, a lot of these products in here actually are melanin inhibitors. So it helps your skin not get any darker, which is good. So when I show you guys my nighttime skin routine, you guys will see the products that are actually help reduce actively the dark marks versus inhibiting them to get darker, if that makes sense. And sorry, I'm kind of like skipping over my words, guys. I'm like thirsty. And I left my water bottle in my other room. So, so yeah, I just like to gently apply this all over my face. And I'm looking over here because my mirror. I like to apply this all over my skin. As you can see, I have a lot of discoloration here on my cheeks and around my mouth and forehead so this year was definitely the worst year for my skin guys I have no idea what happened I actually tried to use the polish choice BHA liquid oh my god tore my skin up I know a lot of people rave about that but the purging for my skin was so intense I just couldn't even I couldn't finish it because it was doing more harm than damage so I might talk about that in like a product video of like favorite products that other people like but my skin did not like at all so yes I just took uh, just a dime sized amount it goes a long way and just make sure you blend it in all over the skin so next I do like to spray one more before I go into my moisturizer then I just lightly pat it in And remember to always apply your products going up. We don't want any premature wrinkles or anything like that with our skin early on. Make sure you rub it in your decolletage and your neck as well. So next, guys, is moisturizer. So I've been using the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. It looks like this. And I absolutely love it. So I've slept on Clinique for years. For some reason, I thought it was like an old lady brand. And I was so wrong. Clinique has some of the best products for sensitive skin. And that actually works. So I've actually used the Clinique um, Moisture Surge before. And I preferred this one, which is really crazy. So I actually got this one from Marshall's TJ Maxx. But you can get it at Ulta um, and like Macy's, Nordstrom, things like that. And I absolutely love it. So I usually just take two pumps. And if my skin is really feeling dehydrated, I will take three. 
and I just apply it all over my skin and down my neck. Again, I'm really big on being gentle with my face because I want to have good skin as I get older. So I don't want to have any wrinkles, dragging your face or anything like that can cause that. So just be gentle with yourself, guys. So, going up on my forehead, through my eyebrows. So, yes. Now I look very supple. So, I don't know if you guys can see that natural glow right here. I know a lot of people always ask me, like, your skin is glowing. I get compliments a lot on my skin, which is crazy because I deal with acne and hyperpigmentation. But, guys, hydrated skin... It's good skin. I cannot stress enough. Girls that might have clear skin, if you're not hydrated, then your skin can't possibly ha be good. You know what I mean? Our skin is just like anything else. It's an organ, and it needs that moisture and hydration in order to stay supple and look youthful. I love the Clinique. Dramatically different. You can use like Moisture Surge, anything like that. I actually just really like Clinique for my moisturizers now. So, next step, and probably one of the most important steps for acne and hyperpigmentation, is sunscreen. So, the sunscreen I'm using right now is the Black Girl Sunscreen with SPF 30. And guys, I cannot stress enough how important sunscreen is. So, sunscreen basically shields our skin from UVA and UVB rays, and basically... A lot of people don't use sunscreen because they feel like black doesn't crack. Lies. Black does crack just slower than other people. So it's really important for us to make sure that we use sunscreen just because our skin needs it. So there's things that can happen if you don't use sunscreen like sun damage, which is the little sp the light spots that come on your face as well as deepening your hyperpigmentation so anybody that asks me or says or on Twitter like how do I get my dark marks dark marks away in hyperpigmentation if you're not using sunscreen you're basically saying I want to keep my dark marks because sunscreen is so so important to helping get rid of them um, again the black girl sunscreen SPF 30 I've used the Neutrogena Hydro Boost in SPF 30. Um, this one I actually got for $2 at Marshalls, which is a really good price. Um, the fall winter time is a great time to stock up on sunscreen. I mean, I got this recommendation from Twitter as well. The only thing I would say is it does have a slight smell, but it doesn't bother me. Like, usually my skin is really sensitive, but um, this is this works fine. So, these two are the ones I've been using most often anyways. So today I'm going to be using the Black Girl Sunscreen, and I love it. So, Two fingers worth of sunscreen, makeup for women of color, said that's that's how much sunscreen we should be wearing on a daily basis, guys. So, it looks like this. And I just put it in my hands, rub it together, and apply it on my skin. So, I know you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, Shelby, that is so much sunscreen. But this is literally how much we need to protect our skin from the rays that the sun gives us. And I know people ask, like, Shelby, do you need to wear sunscreen if you're going to be inside? Anywhere the sun can touch you, you need to be wearing sunscreen. So, I'm just going to apply this right in. Alright guys, so I just blended in the Black Girl Sunscreen and I love it. So one of the biggest things that I know a lot of black people kind of struggle with is getting a sunscreen that doesn't leave a cast. And these two, I can assure you, do not leave a cast. Um, what I do just to find information is I go on Twitter and I search LA Beautyologist, Cave of Beauty, Makeup for Women of Color, Sean Garrett, and type in sunscreen as a keyword. And you can see everybody's recommendations, everybody's um, kind of like their experience review with certain products. So this is how I found these and I absolutely love them both. They don't leave a cast. So guys, as you can see, the glow unmatched. Skin, just supple, 
moisturized and hydrated. So the last step to my morning skincare routine is just my lips. I know it's not such a big thing, but I, I think it is. So I just take some more of the Heritage Store um, Rose Water Facial Toner and I spritz it on my lips. And I just rub it in. Because again, it has a lot of humectants in it. So it draws water from the air. So I just apply that on my lips. And then I take the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I know it's supposed to be for nighttime, but it's honestly just a really great lip balm to me. And I just take a little and I apply it on my lips. And there we go. Fully moisturized and hydrated. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, if you like this type of video, please like, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, I'll be sure to leave all the product details in the description box down below. And I hope you guys are doing well. I love you guys so much. Thanks for supporting me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.